Hundreds of middle and high school students all from across our area took part in the Big Feet meet. As WBS Listens, Eric Johnson explains, the event benefits not only the Special Olympic athletes, but also the volunteers. With the lighting of the torch <laughs> and the declaration of the games open, <laughs> it was officially underway. Hundreds of student athletes and peer buddies from 27 schools and groups came together for the Special Olympics Big Feet Meet. The annual track and field games gives children and adults with intellectual disabilities a chance to develop physical fitness while demonstrating courage. What we're doing is celebrating everybody's abilities and their strengths and their courage. And um, so, you know, all of them will get a chance to compete in their events. And it's actually the sports aspect of it that brings the people together. William Fleming has been host of the games for six years, having students and staff volunteers to help assist and cheer on the competitors. It's something school officials say benefits not only the athletes, but also the student body. It brings together our general education students with our special education students. They get together, they work together, and they have a great time on this field. The Big Feet Meet not only unifies students in sports, but it is also used as a catalyst in the classroom and beyond. Once they leave high school, go out into the real world, and they're all together in the real world. So it's our job to make that transition as seamless as possible and give them all the skills, and the communication techniques and the acceptance. Even though it's a competition, they're reminded that this day, they're all champions. Let it be brave in the attempt. In Roanoke, Eric Johnson, WSLS 10.